This video is on the Time Projection Analysis window. This video will give an overview of the four modes, the parameters used, and the results obtained. There are other videos that cover the examples of the Analyze Events, the Generate Time Projections, and the Analyze Intervals and Planetary Movements modes. There is one video for Analyze Intervals and Planetary Movements because the modes are similar. The window can be opened by going to the Sky menu item and selecting Time Projections. As mentioned, this configuration window has four different modes. The first three are analysis modes, where it calculates the effectiveness of transits, intervals, or planetary cycle or cycles. These first three modes are Analyze Events, Analyze Intervals, and Analyze Planetary Movements. The fourth mode is used to project planetary or time intervals which can be viewed on the chart via the Time Projections tab of the chart. This fourth mode is similar to the functionality of the Planet Time Projections tab of the chart, but it enables you to save time projections separate from a specific chart and apply them to multiple charts, while the Planet Time Projections tab allows you to easily change projection criteria and visualize it on the chart in an inter interactive way. Notice that the Planet Time Projections tab has Degree Start, Degree Step, Degree End, and Degree Steps, and Intervals. The same criteria can be configured when generating time projections in the Time Projection and Analysis window. Under the Planetary tab, it shows Degree, Start, Step, Start, Iterations, and Degree Steps. Under the Interval tab, you specify files with lists of intervals to project time inter intervals from pivots. There's a Help area and a Configuration Checklist area. The help area will display contextual information depending on which of the four modes is selected. The configuration checklist area will tell you for the three analysis modes what needs to be configured to do an analysis. When all the necessary items are configured, then the Analyze button will be enabled. Click on the Analyze button to perform the analysis and the results will be displayed at the bottom in the results summary. The left window displays all the projections generated and whether or not they are hits. The right window displays the types of projections, the hit percent, and the event count. When changing time projections, the event list will not be displayed automatically because it can be large. To display it, press the refresh button. The Analyze Events mode will analyze the results of the Transits Configuration window or the Eclipse Lunar Phases window. You can click here to configure new transits and astro criteria. Whatever is saved here, the results of this window will be used when it's selected again here and you press the Analyze button. That's what will be analyzed. The Analyze Events mode can analyze transits to transits, to natals, directions, progressions, as well as specific astro criteria such as declination, latitude, min-max, or inflections, or certain degrees of longitude. The best way to understand what Analyze Intervals and Planetary Movements do is to say that what the Planetary Times Projections tab on the chart does visually, these two analysis modes extend over a larger set of price data to give statistical results. The Planet Time Projections tab takes a list of source pivots, which is a list of dates, and projects a planet or planet pair and a degree movement into the future. On the chart, you can visually see whether, projections, whether a projection is close to a turning point or not. The Time Projection Analysis calculates 
projections with multiple planets and planet pairs in multiple degree steps determines whether all the projections are hits or not based on how close they are to pre-calculated zigzag pivots and compiles the data to show the hit rate of planet and planet pairs and degree movements. You can try one planet pair degree combination or you can try multiple planet planet pairs and degree movements as well as different ephemerides geo or helio. So in this sample we have zigzags configured of 3, 5, 8, and 13 percent for gold. We have the uh, heliocentric ephemeris from 1960 to 22, 2020 imported. These are all the columns that are available from that ephemeris in the longitude. So, and these are all the ones that will be analyzed. So, the degree steps that we're going to calculate are 30 and it's increment of 30 so it's going to test in tw and, and 12 iterations of that so you go 30, 60, 90 all the way up to three, 360 then we'll increment that by 30 and go 60 so it'll be 60, 120, 180 all the way up to 720 because that's 12 iterations of 60 and then so on going on with 90 until until we get up to 360 and then finally we'll do 360, 720, 1080, 12 iterations of that. So those are all the combinations that will be tested. Down here the results it gives you the planet and the degree movement and the projected date and the source date and then it tells you whether it's a uh, a match or not. So none of these were matches. But then you get down here and you get some matches. It tells you that this projected date of 328 was a match in, uh, uh, with a, z a zigzag date of 326. The, the zigzag that was hit was an 8% and it was a high. The higher the, uh, the score here is the closer it is to the to the actual uh, zigzag date, and there's a formula that's based on that. It's also based on uh, the window, which is a percent window. So you can use either fixed or a percent window. So this will be how how close it is to the actual center, whether it's in the, if it's in the window at all. If it's not in the window, it won't get a score at all. It'll get a score of zero. If it's a higher zigzag rate then the score will also be higher and the closer it is to that to the center of the actual date the higher the score will be also and it's also this percentage window uh, is based off the first degree increment so and that's used for all the iterations so your window is going to vary depending on the uh, parameters so it, it calculates all, all these whether they're hits or not every possible combination that's been configured this window over here to the right summarizes uh, the best combinations so we see here that there was 90 percent hit rate of Earth Saturn longitude 360 starting from the source pivot date of 12 3 2004 but there were only 10 hits the three analysis modes perform an analysis on one symbol at a time and require that zigzags be configured for the symbol and time frame that is going to be analyzed. You can press here to see the zigzags that are configured for a particular symbol and the time frame. You see this matches 3, 5, 8, 13, what's displayed here. When doing an analysis using zigzag pivots, it's recommended to have three to four rates of change configured for the symbol time frame. The zigzags are used in two different ways in analysis mode. The first way that zigzags can be used is to configure the source pivots for the projections to be tested. The zigzags pivots calculated in the configure zigzag window are copied to the clipboard and then a source pivot list can be created. So what you do is you right click on the one you want to create source pivots from. 
you go over here and create new and you paste the pivots so these are the 13 percent rate of change zigzag you name that and save it and now you can use these use these as source pivots for your analysis the second way that zigzag pivots are used is to see if they are close to the projection and the statistics are compiled based on this if the zigzag date is close to the projection date within the specified window then the projection is a hit if it's a hit it's given a strength score as an estimation of the strength of the hit in TP match column. The analyze events can only be analyzed using a fixed window while the analyze intervals and analyze planetary movements can use the fixed window but also use percentage window. For analyze intervals and planetary movements it's recommended to use a percentage window as the projection lengths can vary much more especially when you're using multiple planets and planet pairs in the analysis. If you're using the fixed window, for example if you have a value of 2 set then it will be a hit if it's within 2 bars on either side of a zigzag date. 